Teleportation is just a flash, I once thought. Pop, poof, and you're there. I should have been able to forgive myself for thinking that, but I can't. I can't forgive any of myself for being so fundamentally wrong. There are more of me now, in this magical nowhere. Over my time as an Alicorn princess, I learned to focus my magic to preserve my body in the absence of the normal conditions for life. And I learned to shield my mind from insanity. My survival time here is now measured in months instead of days, and I teleport in a lot in a lot of months. Not nearly so much as I used to, but still a lot. And my magic works here now, just so the mutilee of myself, occasionally reinforced, occasionally cold, we work here. We work to prevent ourselves. It makes sense. Our mission is to prevent Twilight Sparkle from teleporting again, so no pony else is stuck in this hellscape. I'm always squeamish about finding my corpses as supplies. At first, I wear myself down eventually. Always have. Hopefully, eventually won't have to. Might not have to. The wrong way. I call myself over to the segment of spherical shell that serves as a staging point for computation for the moment. I study my work with the growing ice in my veins. Figuratively, fortunately. I'd always held out hope that this was conical. Or n greater than three-dimensional. Or some other unbounded. No such luck. My latest spell, acquired from my latest remnant, confirms it. This sphere is infinite. There is no today, but today I pulled myself back. I had a bright idea while going back, going deeper, teleport across the sphere. Teleportation erases tracking spells. I wonder why. So all of me have arrived with magical trackers. I reapplied one to me, and then I teleported. I arrived, and I searched for me. I never found myself. Another attempt with the stronger tracker I knew. Then the most dedicated magical search I have ever heard of. I have all the time in the world. I got myself back. Dead. Suicide. Again, this time with an expectation of search time. This time I came back alive, and with a report, written in my own leather and ink, of course. Another sphere, still occupied by the first scout's corpse and the second's final scrawlings, slightly smaller, but there is one logical course of action. I live longer, and I'm useful for longer, and reinforcements continue to arrive. I know all I can about this sphere and the next one. There's another beyond. So, mutility squared. I spread across the universes. My little universes. All I know. I travel down the stack by teleporting. The only way up is to be pulled. I scrawl messages. I light signal flares. I try to send information up the chain with the hope that it can be applied to send information beyond the chain. Chicken and egg. Information flow needs a connection. A connection out needs information flow. Inception never works. I teleport less now, better with wings. I walk across the carpet of furs and the floorboards of bone to the wall. I measure it, vertically, halfway. Reinforcements appear halfway between the level of bodies and the apex, much of my time is spent moving gruesome beacons to change my spawn point. Different twilights in different areas break down at subtlety different times. It's always a downer when I go insane before touching the floor. More so because it was clearly a downer before I teleported away from it. My council approves drastic measures. The chain stretches further until I find myself in a deep sphere barely big enough to hold me. I follow myself. I never arrive. There is no room in the sphere, and the next twilight fails to materialize at origin, destination, or intermediate containment. 
Twilights could be created or relocated. Now they can be destroyed too. Three quarters. Three quarters of the sphere is full of my bodies. I have a microcism of civilization here. Bakeries, factories, universities, hospitals. No graveyards. All built from myself. Perfectly recycling. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. But the only way to stop the madness is to fill the universe. So, every thousand of me, I build a new level, construct new buildings, and fill in the old with what's left of me after I'm done with it. Waste not, want not. I've made a discovery. One that won't save us or Twilight, but it might save some pony. If a sphere is full, the teleport E is destroyed. That was known. If a sphere is so very close to full, a small object near the top can be displaced to the teleportation origin to make room. That was unknown. The Twilight Council has commissioned the report of the negative effects of transportation on teleporters. I can proc halfway to the apex from this layer of dead me. There are no smaller spheres to go to. All full. The universities are buried. The Twilight Council no longer meets. When one Twilight appears, the oldest must die. There is only so much. The report is being edited for its 50th draft. Apex A contains a complete account of every pony, every one, who's ever died here and their cause of death. Apex B contains a complete history of us. It's a good thing I'm here and not, say, Rainbow Dash, bless her mortal soul, wherever it is now. I can pronk and hit my head, not my horn, my head, on the apex. There's room for less than a hundred more. The report is in his final copy editing. I'm the second last. Every pony else is dead. There's a room for only one more twilight in this largest of spheres. To swap her in, the report I've just signed, stamped, and scrawled, a warning on must be swapped out. I can only hope. Princess Twilight! Starlight, how often must I remind you not to call me princess? We're equals. And what caused you to disturb me now? You don't usually enter here, or anywhere of this level of haste. You've got to read this. It appears your, your most recent teleport origin. A report on the negative effects of transportation on teleporters. Dear Princess Twilight, if you teleport ever again, you will die. There is nothing any pony can do to prevent this. Now that I have your attention, abstract. This is the last will and testament of the Council of Twilight, Twilight's intermediary sphere. It details the consequences of teleportation. Chief among those consequences is that teleportation causes a copy of the transporter to be created and arrive at the origin. The original of the transporter is simply left in a spherical space of indeterminate construction embedded into an astral plane. Every time you have teleported, you have condemned a copy of yourself to death. There is now no more room for copies. If you teleport again, you will not materialize anywhere. The enclosed 300 pages are the abstract of this report. Use your Tome Expansion spell to access the 12,500-page uh, executive summary. Use it again to access the 205,000-page full report. Please ban teleportation. It's not just you. Any teleportation by a living being does this. Twilight Sparkle, acting chair of the Twilight Council, et al. Both ruling princesses were silent for a long time. Starlight, please tell Sharp Quill to clear my schedule.